All right guys, Captain Darren here. Today I'm going to install my ground rod. Right now this is an eight foot ground rod. I just pushed it into the ground. And uh, a tip is you take one of these acorns, put it in, put it inside or put it on the rod itself. So when you start pounding on the rod, Sometimes you get a mushroom on top of the head, so when you try to put the acorn in, it won't be able to fit. So that's just a, uh, a tip. And also wear eye protection in case of any kind of metal shavings might be, might be um, free from when you're striking the, uh, the rod, it might get in your eyes. All right, so what I'm gonna use is the two pound sledgehammer and then the five pound for the final pounding. Okay, so the acorn is actually a lot bigger than the rod itself. I may have to get um, a smaller size acorn or I can use it um, when I put the bolt inside and the wires, it would crimp. I think this would work out right. What you're looking at here is the 16 by 16 inches, 7 inches deep. I'm going to pour concrete inside the base for the antenna. And this here is the antenna base. It's uh, 8 inches by 8 inches. So I'm going to put, well I have cement in here, I'm going to take this rod and put it inside then I'll put this plate over that rod while the cement is still wet that way when the cement cures after eight hours then the base will be firm okay right here this is where my antenna is going to be located and uh, we have the grounding rod in that's my antenna ground here. And over there, I'm gonna install another eight foot section by this window down here. And that's gonna be my ground for the radio, the shack itself. And then I'll run another grounding wire along the side of the house onto the distribution panel or the panel where we have a um, electric metering and to get a a ground with a service service ground now we're going to install the second ground rod the eight foot section here it is right here okay I'm going to use my step ladder You want to put the ground rod maybe approximately more than two feet from the house foundation just in case well from two feet from the house just in case of any foundation that you're going to run into right now there's cement concrete right here and right about here is a good place to put the ground
I didn't end up using the five pounds. I basically used a two pound sledgehammer. That did the trick. won't go down anymore. I think I hit something down below. Maybe a rock. Well, it looks like I got four feet to go. And uh, so I switched over to the five pound sledgehammer and I'm gonna have my mom hold uh, the base probably lower so I want to continue to pound this this down it's so hard I tried to pull it out of the ground to relocate it and I can't even have it budge it's stuck in there so I'm gonna continue down okay I don't know if you can see it but the head is beginning to shroom become a mushroom so this acorn it's barely fitting now so I went ahead and put the acorn down in there and I'm going to tighten this up so um, it'll be a lot easier I had it on earlier without tightening and it went all the way down in that hole so I had to dig it out so make sure when you get that acorn you at least put it some tension on it so it doesn't fall in that hole down there almost done little at a little at a time Okay, I'm almost done with this grinding rod. I'm just tightening it up so the acorn doesn't fall inside of the sand. All right, now I'm gonna use the uh, two pound hammer now and hammer it in. Look at that shroom head. Let me demonstrate. If I didn't put this acorn in, I would have to sh grind some of that top off. See, there's no way this acorn, acorn is coming off. Let me tighten this down, almost done now. Almost done. Look at that. Good pounding. This one definitely took a lot longer than the one I had the base of the antenna. Yeah, move this closer to the top. Again, this is an eight foot grounding rod. They say minimum is eight feet to utilize. I think that's good enough. At least when someone mows the grass, it won't the mower will not hit it.
there you have it my second grounding rod that's going to be located for my radio shack I'm just going to run the wires through the window and down there and I'll run another grounding wire uh, six gauge wire to the service panel well I hope you learned something about pounding grounding rods into the earth so I put two of them today the first one was pretty easy but the second one took a little time I had to have my mom kind of help me hold the grounding rod when I pound you got to be careful if you miss you might hit her in the head or hit your your person that's your helper in the head or even miss and hit their hands while they're holding the grounding rod but uh, I just hit it a little at a time and I saw a little bit of progress and I finally got it done if you like the video please like subscribe and tune to more videos from Captain Darren thank you for watching guys have a great day